Hello everybody, welcome again to Mark's Remarks. I'm here on the allotment again, and today I'm going to be trying out another uh, food source for the chickens. It's an experimental, uh, I, I've got a feeling they will, but you'll have guessed by the title, it is popcorn. Now, if you're interested, uh, if you type in the words in the, uh, in the headline, Mark's Remarks, how to make popcorn. There you go. The rest of the title had to make popcorn in the microwave with a paper bag. But um, any any of those words, it'll bring up. You need a special kind of seeds, actually. The sweet corn won't do it like a lot of people think. Anyway, I'll show you on that video how to make it. And now I'm going to unwrap this and try and feed it to the chickens. Okay. I've got a fair amount in here. There you go. So if they do like it, there's, there's plenty for them. But yeah, Mark's Remarks, how to make popcorn in the microwave. That'll show you. Um, yeah, like I say, you need special seeds. You do it in the microwave, paper bag. Anyway, there you have it. Right, let's go see what the chickens think of it. Okay. Here we are. Wow, they like that. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll make more of this popcorn. I've got a big bag of seeds. And that, you know, like uh, if you go to a burger van you get a small cup of tea less than half that filled up with seeds in a bag in the microwave it takes about four minutes or so and you get a big mountain of uh, popcorn There you go. It's only been seven days. In actual fact, the last several days they've been eating out, out of my hand uh, bits of grain and and whatnot, sweet corn. But uh, yeah, we're within a week, they're friendly enough and they know that no harm's gonna come to them. In fact, I can actually pet a couple of them, or at least two of them.
Yeah. There you go. So there's a lesson to anybody who has chickens. Go on to my video, how to make popcorn in the microwave. Or Mark's Remarks, how to make popcorn in the microwave. You'll find out what seeds you need and how to go about it. And this is a, a really good, cheap way of uh, feeding your chickens. You know, as a, as a nice, maybe not as a nutritional, well, yeah, I mean, there'll be a lot of nutritional value in this because it's, uh, it's some kind of seed. <laughs> But uh, it's quite cheap, quite entertaining for them. It's something new. Okay, and now this is the the area where the veg goes. So any rotten veg goes in there and they can scratch around looking for the bugs. Whatever popcorn they don't eat will, you know, as you can imagine, will rot down into the dried grass. This dried grass came from uh, the roadside where the council take the... Uh, the ro uh, the uh, grass cutters of course they cut the grass leave it there to dry out when it dries out I'll just put it in here plenty of bugs they won't eat it which is good because if you I don't like to give them lawn cuttings because there'll be any if there's anything poisonous in there it'll get shredded up and they'll eat it without knowing but if it's dry like this they won't eat it but the bugs will yeah look at that they're scratching around in there <laughs> Yeah, that's why I only built this up halfway instead of all the way to the top. It's so it's low enough for them to jump in, but high enough for them to be kicking all the uh, straw out. That works out pretty good. This one's almost walking on my boot. There you go, see how tame they're getting? I can pet a couple of them. The others are still a little bit skittish though. There you have it. Simple food source, it's fun to feed them. <laughs> they seem to like it. 
although uh, there's, there's, they've eaten a bunch but there's still a bunch left so yeah it goes to show you don't really need a lot of seeds to make a large amount of popcorn which gives them uh, a large amount of you know feed so anyway uh, yeah give that a try if you have chickens or maybe some other let, let me know what other uh, animals eat them gerbils hamsters rabbits anyway okay so i'll leave that with you Oh, there's enough down there. Okay, everybody, thank you ever so much for watching.